planting a different variety of edible seed every day for 100 days. Today is day 64, and I'm planting Mitchahilly Chinese cabbage. I don't know if that's how you say that or not, but Mitchahilly. Healy? I don't know. But it's a new variety to me. I've never grown this before, so I'm really excited to see how it does. These take 70 days to mature, so we should be good for fall. There's the seed. In it on this side of this tray. I believe these are cauliflower, but I didn't label it, so I don't really know. I'll have to go back in my videos and see. But I'm gonna plant all of this, 36, in this cabbage. Okay, I'm just putting in one in each cell. Push a little soil on top. They only need about a quarter inch of soil, so I don't like to give them too much. I only do one per cell. If they don't all germinate, that's okay. I have so many seeds starting. I don't think I'll be missing out. If they do all germinate, more cabbage to share. Cabbage does best in temperatures 40 to 75. If it gets too hot, it's likely to bolt. Like that guy. That's a regular cabbage that has bolted, but see how it's growing tall like a tower? It's gonna send up a flower stalk, something like those. These are my regular cabbages. <laughs> you can see they're getting munched, but the heads are still good and solid. And then after that, you can save the seeds if you like, or just chop it down and start over. It's almost too dark to see, but I forgot one more thing I wanted to add. Chinese cabbage are more nutritious than regular cabbage. So if you've never tried them, give them a shot. They're tasty.